Melissa, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, says every artist who has transformed what was seemingly mundane into some magic. And that's the theme behind the Salvation Army's Transform Treasures event, artists and an organization making what was broken whole again. All of this here at the Salvation Army is available to you because it's been transformed. Artists in the community go into our thrift stores, find something, they repurpose it, refashion it, transform it. People perusing and bidding on these now treasured artful creations born out of what was deemed once not worthy. The programs that the Salvation Army uh, supports and provides tend to give people value, you know? Chad's an artist here. This is what he transformed. Yeah, it's kind of like what you might expect to see in a, in a boy or a teenager or even a guy's locker. Henry David Thoreau once said, art is but a canvas to our imagination. Sammy Ali, who created these two works of art, is an emergency room doctor here in Anchorage. Her motivation for transforming an old frame? Probably oil painting benefits me as a doctor more because it provides an outlet for stress and for relaxation. So. Chad says he just likes the Salvation Army's mission. The work that the officers do and, and that the Salva Salvation Army does for, for uh, mental uh, health and uh, addiction recovery, uh, community support, in my opinion, is uh, second to none. And that's not just Chad's opinion. That's the more than... Yeah, we have over 100 artists that have come together to uh, make this possible for the Salvation Army. They believe in our, our ministry. So from a bedazzled Barbie car to a bee-riddled blooming lamp, it's all about pollinating the seeds of positive change. If the community can come out and support the Salvation Army, they're... Um, funds are very appreciated because there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes to provide for families in our community. From hearts to heartwarming, from functional to fashionable, what was stuff is now valuable simply because somebody showed it a little love. Lives are healed, transformed, and now they have hope and something exciting ahead for them, their lives. So we're just excited to be a part of that transformation. So what you see here is a metaphor Everybody wants hope and... And ultimately, the, the programs that the Salvation Army uh, supports and provides tend to give people value, you know? Uh, they give them a reason to try to get help or get better. Um, Doing the most good and art that stands apart, that's the all good news. Now, all those transformative artworks uh, you saw there are on display and will be available a bit on coming up on April 29th from 12 to 2 p.m. I'll put that on your calendar. Yeah, tickets are on sale now with all the proceeds going to further the Salvation Army's mission of doing the most good right here in Alaska. You get to help them and walk away with something pretty cool, too. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and uh, it was great. And I, I wish I could have shown more because a lot of the before pictures were pretty amazing. Oh, like, you didn't even know what it was. And all of a sudden, there's this art thing there last night. Yes. So, yeah, I went out there, and the Tolaroods are really great people that have been with the Salvation Army 40 years as awesome. a couple. Yeah, here, doing a lot of good work. All right, here's Nora O'Donnell with uh, what they're covering tonight on the CBS Evening News.